proprio diciamo, statico del, della forma, no? Cioè, nel senso tu poi... Giusto, ok. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I wouldn't say, like, like MicroStation, it's, uh, you have access to the whole geometry engine by parsing, sending commands to it. Um, so you can type in a command which is, is a, results in a, like, it, it's, it's in a launching a command, launching just some, some geometry or some function. Um, but they're very, they're not very good at documenting it. And, and also, if there's something wrong with it, they're not very good at, at responding to um, well, you changing things. And if you want new functions from them, they, they generally, if, unless there's 3,000 people wanting that command, they say no. Whereas um, with, with Rhino, it's openness and their attitude to you using the software is, is very much the reverse. They, they sit around and they invent, they come up with lots of interesting things that, um, that they can do. And it's, sometimes it's enough with even just one person asking about something or coming up with an interesting idea. And, and they, will, they will put it in the, in the software once if they have time, when they have time. And they also uh, expose it to you. They also allow you to... Uh, you, you have access to it. You can go in and read about almost all of the functions or you can ask them about yes. functions. And they, they will... No, they'll, they'll respond to you. Um, if something doesn't work, they'll respond to you. So it, in that sense, it's very, it's very, very nice. It's very open, open community. Uh, so yeah. yeah. But I don't know. For example, um, you use some scripting of Reno or Rhino or something else, something like this. Um, in your work. I, I do, but uh, I find the same as with rendering. I find that I don't have time for it, or at least it doesn't have a time for it right now. Um, rendering takes too much of my work and time, so I'll give that to others. Yes. Um, and scripting. Ah, you give to others. It's not you that made the render. No. It makes the render. Uh, well, the stuff you saw on the screen, that was just the screen grabs, and I do some oh, okay. screen renders. But when it comes to visualization renders, I give that to others. So your interest was in the structure, in the structure, in the, it's in, in the synthesis of the build. Yeah, the it, it's, it's in the architecture, but it's also in, in developing, um, uh, it's in the buildability of the architecture. Yes, the buildability, yes. So figuring out how, how does it fit together. That's, and Rhino, that's really good for it. Yes, but it's maybe this is um, best 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 feature because I know I've tried Flamingo. I found it. Um, yeah, I not so. I don't like the style. I don't, mm -hmm. It's not my. I, I like sort of. Oh, you saw the film. It was sort yes. of gritty and grimy and kind of bit blurry and diffuse. Yes. And, uh, I haven't used Flamingo that much. I'm too honest. But well, what was the other? What was the other question? Uh, well, I'm thinking. Yes, I think up until now I, there hasn't been much point in uh, using scripting. I, I've done used it for small things like uh, you know, repetitions of things, but uh, up until now so there hasn't been much point. But the question you you may you you. You've, you've made a question to the MIT guy yeah. um, on analyzing what we do with the free modeling. Yeah, yeah. That he, and he responds talking about the Gary, the Frank Gary Studios. Yeah. That it's that it works like you said. Yeah. Because he tells I am I didn't I did not deploy it on the mm. computer. Mm. Computer for me it's a way of control it. Mm. But uh, so you you can find in Rhino this 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 function. Um, yeah, yes and no, but it's yes I can find it because I can freely uh, explore the geometry, but no because uh, I have to I have to really take a lot of time to, to think about why what's going on. So yes. my question to to uh, to Yanni was about uh, how do you. Uh, if you have something, how do you take that and analyze it? Yes. How do you, because I've got 6,000 sim, similar but dissimilar elements. Yes. So how do, you, how do I analyze them? Or I, I've also got a lot of surfaces. That's, um, I don't know if you remember the pink surface that drives the yes. faceted skeleton. Um, I have to. I have to look at it. I have to hear it. Um, the real benefits are in the uh, administering and sharing and uh, communication.
communication of, of the data right? to, to uh, uh, organize the whole project and to drive the whole project from a model. Okay. Uh, so you use a, a 3D model as a contract document rather than use 2D drawings. So when you when you communicate when you when you interface with engineers and when you interface with uh, cladding and, and structure and everything, you use that you work through a 3D model rather the, than the project, yeah. rather than like issuing 2D drawings and then yes, which what happens now? You you make the 2D drawings based on your 3D model and they take the 2D drawings and then.